Hello everyone, and welcome back to John and Mandy Go RVing. Hello everyone, and welcome to part two of our Air Skirts RV Skirts review. In our first episode, we showed you guys what all came in the pack when you order Air Skirts in the mail. And then after that, we showed you how to set up the Air Skirts around the RV. And then we told you guys we wanted to give it a few weeks to try them out and test them before we got back to you on what we think about air skirts. But before we do that, we're gonna show you how to break down the air skirts. So the first thing we wanna do is grab the pump, plug it in, take the hose out of the one side, and you put it on the other side of the pump here, and this will deflate the air skirts for you. So now that we've done that, go ahead and lock her in, put her in, Turn clockwise to lock it. Hit the power button. Now there will be a little bit of air left in it, but you can squeeze that out as you fold up your air skirt to put away. And that's it. So John, was it easy to set up and break down the air skirts? Yes, it was pretty easy. Now your first time it's gonna take a little bit longer, but it's supposed to take about 15 to 20 minutes to set them up. It took me longer because I had to figure out where I was gonna lay out the skirts for the first time. Now, after you do that, it should only take you about 15 to 20 minutes to set up. And the breakdown, it'll take a little bit longer because they want you to wipe them down, make sure they're dry or mostly dry and clean before you fold them up and put them back into the duffel bags. So Mandy, be honest, how did the air skirts work for us? You know, I really think they work pretty well for us. Um, we had a couple of nights where we were in the 30s, even dipped down into the 20s a couple of times. Um, and the thing I noticed most was that the furnace wasn't kicking on nearly as much as it was. So I think the insulation that the air skirts is giving us around the rig, keeping that cold air from, from coming through, uh, really is helping with our energy consumption. Uh, and like none of our pipes froze or anything. So I feel like it's doing its job. All right. And to keep in mind when it's warmer out that the air skirts are gonna expand a little bit, the air inside. So you're probably gonna wanna let a little bit of the air out and the opposite will happen in the cold. You're probably gonna to wanna to put a little bit more air in them when you're in temperatures around 30 degrees or lower. So Mandy, will we recommend air skirts to our viewers and other people out there for winter camping? Yes, definitely. Uh, we think this is a very high quality product. We certainly see a difference with how much propane we're using. Um, so yes, we would recommend it. However, I would caution everybody out there thinking about buying these to not just take our word for it. Do your own research. We can only share with you our experience. And there's a lot of different ways to camp, a lot of different climates that you camp in. So take our information, know our experience, but do your own research. Look at other videos, go to their website, make sure this is the product for you. It's not a cheap product. So you want to make sure it's going to work for your situation. Yeah, because we've tried this in, what, down to 20 degree weather, roughly. 
So for people that are in sub-zero temperature weather situations, uh, yeah, do a little more research, make sure that this is gonna work for you because that's the one thing we weren't able to test with these while we've had them. Correct. So if you are interested in purchasing a set of air skirts, there is a process you have to go through when you order them. After you order your air skirts, you'll receive an email to put measurements in for your rig. There's also an instruction sheet to make sure you put in the right measurements. This ensures the air skirts fit appropriately. These are the measurement instructions. They are very thorough, and if you have any questions, you can email air skirts or give them a call. Once all of the measurements are in, just hit submit. So, if you're ready to buy a set of air skirts, please use our promo code, John and Mandy, to save $100. We'll put a link in the description section below. When we did this test, we didn't do this in sub-zero temperatures. So if you have any experience with air skirts and those kind of temperatures, let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give us a like and hit that subscribe button. Take care, everyone. So, Mandy, would you recommend Febreze air freshener for after Orton takes a big dump while we're trying to record? No, because then it would just take like flowers and beep instead of just beep. Oh, I think she used a couple wordy dirties there. I don't know if we got a beep to throw in there. It's gross. <laughs>